This is the 250 miles per hour McLaren Speedtail. This is it, the McLaren Speedtail, the car formerly known as BP23 and likely forever known as the spiritual successor to the F1. Three seats, stratospheric top speed, and a price tag that's similarly out of this world. The McLaren Speedtail will, when deliveries start in early 2020, have cost each of its 106 owners north of £2.1 million for a car that boasts 1,036 bhp and a 250 mph maximum speed. When they do strap themselves into the center seat, line up on a runway, press the velocity button above their head and nail the throttle, they'll feel what it's like to accelerate from 0 to 186 miles per hour in the same time it takes a diesel supermini to hit 60 miles per hour. McLaren's leap of faith is that grand touring is still a thing, and that people will want to do it as a threesome. Hyper GT is the pitch, Bugatti Chiron, even if McLaren isn't admitting as much, the target. The speedtail is about luxury as much as speed. Well, heading that way. We'll come on to talk about the clean lines of the cabin, the tactility of the materials, but first just look at it, the length of the tail, the elegance of those rear lines. It's plain stunning, a shape that treats the air passing over and around it with respect. What air it needs is subtly taken, used as appropriate for combustion or cooling and then calmly reintroduced, before being precisely and delicately detached by the samurai blade tail. At 5.13 m long, it's 60 cm longer than a Chiron, the sweeping carbon cape carrying with it a suggestion of Art Deco, steampunk 30s cool. The kind of car the Rocketeer would have driven. McLaren is focusing on high-speed stability as a core facet, to make distance relaxing and undemanding. Wind and tire noise will need to be minimized, in that respect, it's encouraging that the front tires are modest 235 section, that there's nothing to snag the air passing over the canopy. I suspect it'll have a massive fuel tank, more than 60 liters is all Ultimate Series line director Andy Palmer would admit. Even so, it ought to be an efficient car the center seat makes the speedtail egocentric. The symmetry is emphasized by how much it's been decluttered. No sun visors, instead, the speedtail is fitted with electrochromic glass which darkens at the press of a button. The LED interior lights have been incorporated into the glass, too. Your eye has less to fall on, and the clean view across the swath of screen and air vent, mirrored either side, channels you into focusing on the steering wheel, finished in this glorious wood-like machine carbon. That material, super tactile, carved from billet carbon where each layer is just 30 microns thick, is used for the paddles too, and forms the binnacle around the porthole above your head. That's where you find the car controls, buttons for gear lever, start, stop and switchable dynamic modes. The most interesting one is labeled Velocity. Purveyors of the original dream machine, the McLaren F1, have now turned into a proper mass-market supercar factory. First effort was the MP412C, sounds like a barcode, goes like a scorched weasel. The knowledge stuffed inside these guys' heads is scary, 